on today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to get a naughty little boy, Tucker, to come to me. He's been resisting everyone so far, so I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see what I can come up with. Tucker, you ready? Let's go, buddy. So you want your dog to do whatever it's doing at that point. And then when you say the command, right, everybody is expecting the dog to just jump and stop and, you know, out of what it's been doing, stop and come to you. So I say, come, 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 come. Especially for dog, it's never been around humans. It's never heard the word come. They cannot perform what you're asking them to do. So I'm gonna have to teach Tucker what come really means. I can scream words out, he's still not going to do anything. Come, come, Tucker, come, Tucker. Tucker, come, come, come. So what I'm gonna have to do is, you guys all been out on fishing, right, trips? What I'm gonna do is, I want him to focus on me. The key is always, the dog is not focused on you, you cannot perform anything. So what I'm gonna have is, Tucker, come. Every time that he comes in, I'm gonna be able to reward him. If your dog has a little bit of food drive, Oh, finally we have some food drive, good boy. You can actually reward him to come back to you. So what I'm gonna have to do is send him out again. And then just say, Tucker, come Tucker. Good boy, big reward. If your dog has no food drive, you can just pretty much give them the, oh my God, oh my God, I'm so happy, excitement. Give them some love. Then send them out again, Tucker. Then now I'm gonna try it without a treat. Tucker, focus. Come on, come. And bring them in. Excellent, good boy. So he's coming back because he wants to be here. He wants to be with his owner. Very good, good job, buddy. So it looks like we've succeeded so far, right? Now here comes the hard part. You were able to succeed on a six foot nylon lead, right? Now we're gonna to step to the little bit improved, a little bit more heavy stuff in training exercises. You can start adding. Come on, buddies. A rope or a long lead, if you have. All you have to do is attach one side, of course, one end of that rope to your lead. You always have to have control over your dog. Even that right now we're out, he couldn't go anywhere pretty much, but safety is always important. Start in your home, in your backyard, then we can go out in the open. Now I can get Tucker to, let's go Tucker, let's go Tucker, let's go. Send him all the way out. And when I say, Tucker, come. Come Baba, come buddy. Good job buddy, good boy, very good. First you didn't want to come, now look at you, look at you, you're all the way out there and you're coming back here, good boy. Remember again, consistency is a key. Do it again. Tucker, let's go, let's go, let's go. All the way, all the way, all the way. Good job. Tucker, come, come on. Good job, buddy, very good, see? With practice, consistency, and patience, you can change a dog's lives. So you can change yours. If I can do it, so can you. Remember again, it's repetition, consistency, and you have to be patient. So if you wanna see more, Check out FidoTVChannel.com for more T-Boards tips. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys.